Antonio Brown went too far on social media again. The controversial former NFL superstar just shared a sexually explicit private picture on his Snapchat with a matter of his children. Absolutely ridiculous. The and post which has since been deleted from AB's profile quickly circulated on other social media platforms early Tuesday morning. Things have gotten ugly between the two sides with Kyrie's claiming AB sent explicit videos to their son during an alleged domestic violence incident back in November. Antonio Brown has become notorious for his snap update as he previously shared a poorly photoshopped pic of Tom Brady's ex-wife Giselle editing her face onto a nude body. The former Steeler has also trolled Tom Brady throughout the quarterback's divorce sharing memes mocking his old teammate. It is unclear why Antonio Brown posted that picture but he's been active on Twitter as well as saying don't play with me play football. Chelsea Kyrus, the mother of AB's children just released a statement on the situation saying she's very well aware of the post. Chelsea says she has repeatedly asked Brown to keep the private parts of their former relationship out of public eye but he has refused. I have reported his page on all pictures Chelsea says. Unfortunately, Snapchat is allowing him to repost. I am very sorry for any of your kids that follow him and used to look at him as a role model. I do not condone these actions as you are aware I have kids involved as well. Antonio Brown's account has been suspended and the incident is under investigation. The platform points out it has strict community guidelines that prohibit sexually explicit content and bullying or harassment of any kind. Kind of ironic. Just six days ago, the woman who accused Antonio Brown of domestic violence in November also told cops he sent explicit videos to her son during the dispute. Disgusting behavior on Antonio Brown's part for real. In the call, a woman said to a Tampa Police Department dispatcher that she and Brown had gotten into a little argument at their home in Tampa, Florida on November 28th. He explained that she arrived at the house on November 27th and hours later, Antonio Brown started throwing a fit. The woman claimed she took the kids and went outside in an effort to defuse the situation. Just take a listen. Hello? Hello, yes, Sam Police Department. Do you need assistance? Yeah, I have a question. Um, I live in a house and we're having like a little argument. Um, he's starting to throw all of my clothes out of the house. Is there anything that could be done about it? Yes, ma'am. Do you, you live there or what? Yes, we live there. Well, you said who's, who's throwing your clothes my out? Um, so I have five kids. Uh, you guys have been called multiple times before to this address, but I have five kids by, um, five kids that live with me. He shows up when he wants to, the kids' his dad. And we had just gotten home last night. He started throwing a fit this morning. So before it escalates into anything violent, I just packed up or just literally took the kids outside and left. We were down at the neighbors and now he's setting all of my clothes and stuff outside. He's sending explicit videos to my son's phone. All right, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go ahead and send an officer out there uh, and he can figure out what can be done. What's the address over there, ma'am? Uh, West Leon Street. <laughs> West L-E-O-N-A Street? Yep. Y'all might want to go on the phone. I got the cops coming. What's your name? This is not legal. What's your name, ma'am? What's your name? You might want to go inside. You better hide out. All my, all my purses, like my purse and stuff are in there. He smashed my computer. What's his name? Antonio Brown. You know his birthday? His birthday is 7 10 88. He's white, black, or Hispanic? More black. All right, I'll send officers over there. Hey, thank you. Ma'am, if it gets physical or anything else, give us a call 911, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, bye. A second 911 call was also played and you can hear a woman claiming to be a neighbor telling cops that Antonio Brown had thrown the woman out of the house. Take a listen. That's over the whole thing. Tampa 911, what's the location of the emergency? Hi, um, I need to report a possible domestic violence case. Um, I have a neighbor who has been thrown out of the house by um, the father of her children that lives there and the kids and her are outside, some of her property is outside and the children and are unfortunately too scared to go back inside the house. What's the address? 
Um, West Leona. The male half is putting the female half out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the mom with her children, the youngest two, are have been kicked. Has it been kicked a little or? Stuff. Um, it's, I'm, this is my first time seeing it. This is my first time coming out and seeing them outside. Yeah, I can only report what I see. I can't report on previous stuff. All right. I haven't seen anything. What is um your name? Would you like to meet with the officers? Um, but, uh, that's fine. I mean, I'll be monitoring, so maybe it just depends. All right, no problem. Who else comes outside? No problem. We'll get someone out there. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Officers eventually arrived on scene and say Antonio Brown threw a shoe at the woman during the altercation, leading them to issue a warrant for his arrest. Antonio Brown, though, was never formally placed into custody as prosecutors announced on December 21st that they were not filing charges against the 34-year-old.